Hi everyone, this is Arfeen and today we are going to calculate tracking error by using user defined function in Python. So let's start. First, we are going to import libraries. SNP import pandas underscore data reader as web, let's run this, define a function. So function tracking error. Okay, so we need the stock name, stocks. Okay, we also need benchmark. We need a start date and we need end date. Here I'm going to define data as pd.data frame. Similarly, I'm going to define the same for benchmark. Okay, so data is equal to web dot data reader. Stocks, comma data source, which is Yahoo. We have start is equal to start date. We have end is equal to end date. And then we are going to take adjusted close. Similarly, I'm going to download benchmark data separately so we can change data as and when required. So it will be benchmark. So data source, which is again Yahoo. Start is equal to start date. And is equal to end date. And again, adjusted close. Now I'm going to run the loop for I in data. Now, what we need to do here, we need to calculate a daily return of benchmark and daily return of a stock. So for that, what we have done in our previous video, we have created a column, a new column for the sub, uh, subtraction so we can do similar thing here, but uh, there are different ways to do that. So let me directly calculate the return here. So, I mean, I can just create a return series or, or I can directly calculate the tracking errors, better to create a return series. So what I'm going to do data here I'm going to say daily underscore return underscore. So here I'm going to put the name of individual stock plus I is equal to data I dot percentage change. Similarly, I'm going to do the same for benchmark, daily return. Since we are going to take only one benchmark here, so we can keep it as it is, or if you want, we can put the name in both the cases, it will be fine. There will be no issues since benchmark will be only one. So I can just say here daily, daily return benchmark which is equal to bench dot percentage change. Nice. Now we know the formula of tracking error. So tracking underscore in fact, uh, TE underscore I is equal to what we can do here is data. So 
So we need to subtract and then we need to take the volatility of daily return. So all we need to do here is we will take daily return, just copy it and paste it here. Minus straight this whole and then for return to bracket dot std. So here we will have a standard deviation of difference between stock return minus benchmark return. So let's run this after printing te underscore i. Okay, so tracking error. Okay, what are the stock? Let's say we want Apple, we want SNP, so SNP symbol in Yahoo Finance is GS, GSPC, if I'm not mistaken, yeah. And the start date, we can say 1-1-2020. One dash, one dash and date, we can say 12-31-2020. Dash dash Let's run this. Okay, so we can also make it in presentable form, like in 200. So it will be in percentage. Okay, so we can do it in different ways. So like uh, what we can do here, I tracking error is zero to decimal. comma, sorry, dot format, de underscore i, let's run this. Okay, uh, we can also multiply it with 100. So 100, I'm just trying to see we can put percentage here in this way. Perfect. This is the daily standard uh, tracking error. We can also do the same for Envelize. So what we need to do is we need to copy and paste here. And then instead of 100, I mean, we can multiply it with 100 uh, as NP dot SKU-RT of 252. Let's run this. Envelized tracking error. So multiply it with 100, so it will be 26%. Perfect. Now we need to do it for multiple stocks. So let's say Amazon, AMZN, and we need it for Ford as well. Let's run this. Perfect. So that's all for today. Hope uh, it's easy and it's clear for you. If you have any question, if you have any queries, please feel free to ask, please like and subscribe my channel. Stay tuned. Thanks. Have a good day.